Hey everybody, so today we have Jeff Brown flying from Los Angeles. So could you please briefly tell us what are some of the projects that you've been working on and what do you do to the audience? Yeah. Hi, thank you. Yeah, it's a real pleasure to be here um, at such an exciting film festival and uh, where it's art house film. So it's really, uh, yeah, it's just a great opportunity for people uh, to showcase their work. Um, yeah, the type of films I do or the type of work I do, I'm a writer, director. Uh, currently doing a project that I'm planning to shoot in Nigeria, a story based around the Nigerian email scams, told from the perspective of a Nigerian kid growing up in the Delta. He joins a gang of uh, email conmen to make some money to move his family out of the Delta and into Port Harcourt. And so I do a lot of things that are um, around the world. I like different cultures, different people, and so that's, that's really my focus. Okay, that's, that's amazing. So um, for the next couple of days, as a judge, what, what are some of the things that you're looking forward to to this film festival? Yeah, so as a judge, uh, the thing I love about these type of film festivals, or this one specifically too, is because it's a non-commercial film festival, so the budgets are usually a little bit limited, so the stories often um, focus more on the individual, the character, them having to overcome obstacles which are usually very heavily internal obstacles and you know they have to be, become better or come over those challenges. So it's a very human, uh, humanistic way of, of making films. So it's, it's just really great and I love that all, you know, I think they had uh, 1,800 um, entries from around the world. So I just love watching different filmmakers from around the world doing whatever they can do to put a film together, which as we know is one of the hardest things to do. Mm -hmm. And then you get to see their culture and their people. And um, I just love seeing the different locations. But as a judge, I look for story and look for character and see what the obstacles are. Mm -hmm. I look for dialogue is very important, commercial or not commercial. Mm -hmm. When characters talk on the nose exactly what the scene is about mm -hmm. is a weakness in the script. So dialogue is very important to try and um, see how they use subtext. And I know in each culture people talk sort of in different ways, mm -hmm. but dialogue is an important thing for me, good dialogue. Mm -hmm. So yeah, aside from dialogue, you, you mentioned that you fly from all over the world to do uh, different projects. What are some of the other things that you do uh, when, you, when you film projects in different countries? What are some of the things that you're looking for, the cultural differences and, and things like that? Well, the different things I look for in terms of when I'm finding a film right. to write, mm -hmm. uh, I just look for the, at the core, we're all the same, basically. I've been all over the world many, many times. I've shot for National Geographic. I've shot for all kinds of people. I've, I've met, you know, I've done films about serial killers. I've done mm -hmm. films about, you know, monks and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. But I look for really what drives the, human spirit. We're all the same. We all um, love is one of the strongest themes that no matter what country you're in, you can watch a movie. If there's love at the core, mm -hmm. we're going to feel something. And uh, ultimately in movies, we want to make people, we want to move people. We want to make them feel. So I look for that kind of at the core, but I look for uh, also something, the external struggle that people have to go through mm -hmm. um, to achieve a certain goal. It's all about getting a goal having to overcome obstacles to get it. And usually it's the internal obstacle. Once you solve the pain, mm -hmm. the character, uh, the inner pain, then you're able to achieve the goal of the A plot. So I just look at, at stuff like that, unique things mm -hmm. that we don't in the West anyway see. So I like telling it from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. that's, that's amazing. So I, I hope you find these characteristics that you're looking for um, for the next couple of days. Um, for the next few days, what are, is there anything in particular that you're looking for? Is this your first time in Maryland or? This is my first time in Maryland. It's really uh, exciting. So I love going to a new place. I always love going to new places. And aside from continuing to see some of these films, um, I love meeting the, the filmmakers. And it, it, these kind of film festivals are the nicest because there's just no pretension. There's no like stress and everyone have gone through so much, as I say, as filmmakers to try and get their film shown. That's the goal. And the fact that this film festival has been created is really an amazing thing. It's really a beautiful way to show people's endless 
passionate, hard work, and I just always want to support that, that on all levels. It's a miracle, no matter what, whether I'm a fan of the film or not, mm -hmm. it's hats off to anybody who can get a film done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I definitely noticed a lot of that from the, from the directors that we interviewed before, so I hope you enjoy the next couple of days, and welcome to Maryland. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.